welcome to the chap activity 4 reason bending of light ray away from the normal take a metal disc take a protractor and mark angles along the edges of the metal disc take two straws from the center of the disc and arrange them in a way that they freely rotate about the center of the metal disc move one of the straws and adjust it to 10 degrees angle. Immerse half of the disc vertically into a transparent vessel. Of course, they appear to be in a single straight line when they are seen from the side view with half of the disc inside the water. Find the angle among the normal and second straw. Draw a table in your notebook. Note down the values in a table. Repeat the same procedure for different angles. Measure the angles of refraction for different angles respectively. Note down these values of refraction angles in a table which is drawn in your notebook. Calculate the refractive index of water with the help of table. Do not perform this activity with angle of incidence greater than 48 degrees. In above activity, you have observed that the R is greater than the I in each case. That means when light ray passes from denser medium, water, to rarer medium, air. It performs in somewhat reverse approach to that of what we observed in lab activity 1. Since in this activity, the light ray passes from denser, water to rarer air. We can generalize that the light ray bends away from the normal and R is greater than I. Now, let us learn about a law which relates the refractive index with the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. It I known as the Snell's law.